Corrine here breaking down Arizona State wide receiver, one of the top wide receiver prospects in the 2019 draft class. Going to go through some of the strengths and weaknesses, and there's no bigger strength in Harry's game than his after-the-catch ability. It is rare for a 6'4", 216-pound man to be able to do what he does after the catch if he'll run it here early in the season against UTSA. Obviously not the best competition, but not a lot of guys clown this many defenders on one single play like Harry does. One of the highlights of the entire football season, and that was indicative of him his entire career. He's always been exceptional after the catch in terms of breaking tackles. Had 15 this past season, and well, you know he had a handful on this play alone. But for a six foot four man, you think that sort of ability will translate nicely at the quick passing game and the screen game in the NFL level. When I say he's good after the catch, I'm not lying. This is against a little better competition here in Utah if he'll run this play. These actually don't count towards his missed tackle totals, the 15 that I quoted earlier, because it's technically a run, but he has that special ability with the ball in his hands to just make guys miss, make something out of nothing. As you'll see here, that should have gone for negative yardage. He takes it to the house. We saw that repeatedly from Harry throughout his entire career at Arizona State. He just has an innate feel for how to set up defenders in the open field. He could be a punt returner, kick returner, add value in that regard at the next level, or just if you want to use him as a plane ride receiver, he's going to break enough tackles on his own. One last play here from Harry. This one highlights a number of different aspects to his game. At the top of the screen here, going up against USC, the biggest thing is his contested catch ability. Caught 17 out of 33 contested catch situations this past season, but also the fact that he struggles to gain separation down the field. Does not gonna run a blazing 40 at the combine. Just does not have great inline speed. As you'll see here, the cornerback stays on top of him the whole time, but if you'll run this play, the catch is incredible. Only had six drops this past season on 79 catchable. Brought in that one-hander, one of the best catches all season long. Harry has that sort of ability. Would love to see him be able to separate more down the field. That's gonna push his draft stock down. Separation is king at the NFL level today, but he still offers enough in terms of contested catchability, breaking tackles after the catch to I think he could be an effective receiver at the next level. That's in the Nikhil Harry Breakdown. Make sure to go to Pro Football Focus and check out all our other draft prospect profiles.